Down goes Fala, down goes Fala. It was the 5th of April 1932 in a ranch just south of San Francisco where Australia's greatest racehorse and a symbol of our hope died. This wasn't how he died, but this is how it felt to the Australian public when they heard the news. Australia's greatest racehorse was born. It was October 1926 when Farlap was born in the stable in Timaru, New Zealand. Back in Australia, Harry Telford, who studied thoroughbred bloodlines in horses, believed that the colt had potential and persuaded an American businessman, David Davies, to buy the horse. The horse was walked for a mere 168 pounds at auction. When he arrived in Sydney, he was chestnut in colour, 17.1 hands, and didn't look anything like a champion horse. The Australian community felt a strong connection with the horse as they were both under the same circumstances. The horse arrived in Australia at the beginning of the Great Depression and when Australia was facing the full force of the Depression. In 1928, the horse was named Fire by an Asian man, Mr. Bing, who was watching the horse train at Sydney Centennial Park. According to Tommy Woodcock, Firelight's strapper and later trainer, the name stuck. Farlap's racing career did not begin well as the horse was difficult and ate too much. Farlap failed in his first four races. David Davies had lost faith in the horse, but trainer Harry Telford and strapper Tommy Woodcock persisted and Farlap won his first race. Farlap competed in 12 races as a three-year-old and won five of them, also coming third in the Melbourne Cup in 1919. When Farlap became a four-year-old, the horse became a legend, winning nine of his ten races. One of the horse's greatest achievements was the 1930 Melbourne Cup, where Australia was feeling the full force of the Depression. 17,000 people stood to cheer the horse to victory. Farlap's success continued in 1931, winning nine of his ten starts as a five-year-old, and in four years of racing, Farlap won 37 to 51 races and included his 14 race wins in a row. As Farlap continuously winning, the spirit of Australian public rose and lifted. In 1931, no horse could match Farlap, and so racing officials increased the handicap to give the other horses a chance. Farlap carried 68 kilograms in that race, and despite a courageous effort, he placed eighth. It was said that Farlap, like the country, was carrying too much weight. David Davies, Farlap's owner, was keen for the Australian horse to run in the United States, which is horse race. The Odua Cantalani handicap, with the prize money of $100,000. Farlap left Australia in November 1931 on a sea voyage to America. In 1932, Farlap ran in the Cantalani handicap. Many Australians listened to the radio and were glad to hear that Farlap moved from the rear of the field to win by three horse lengths. The following month, while Farlap was resting on a ranch just south of San Francisco, he became ill and died on the 5th of April 1932. The news of Farlap's death shocked Australia and the world. Tributes were held around Australia and flags were flown at half-mast. Farlap had been a symbol of hope and courage for the Australian public during the dark days of the Depression, with average Australians struggling to survive, identified Farlap of Big Red as a symbol of hope and faith. Farlap's short career gave the Australian population power to endure the remaining years of the Depression. <laughs>